Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to look at Taylor from Godiva Secret Wigs in two colors, so stay tuned. Hi, welcome back. My name is Coco and this is Coco's Hair Solutions. We're looking at Taylor from Godiva Secret Wigs. This is what she looks like in their online catalog. And um, she's a very, very popular wig. She was one of their top 10 sellers last year, 2021. And so I've got her in two colors. One is Chocolate Swirl and the other one is Silver Stone and I'll model both of those for you. Okay, so let's take a look at her cap construction. So what we have here is a closed cap construction all the way around. There's closed lace, there's a standard little half inch um, border along the hairline in the front. We have standard wefting all the way around, but look at the number of wefts or rows of curtains that we have. This girl is not gonna show any of those weftings at all, anywhere. We also have closed ear tabs with metal stays on both sides, as well as a closed extended nape. And we've got the little bra closures for adjusting the wig in case it's too small or too big. Let's take a look at her dimensions here. This is the silver stone. And so what she is, is a white. She's got a blend of 60 and 61. We've got a little bit more white around the face. And then it gradually goes into a darker gray towards the nape. So you can see that darkness. Now let me go ahead and brush her out here. Activate that permatease on top. Now she does have some significant permatease on top but that helps prevent any wefts from being seen at all. You are not gonna see any wefts. Gently brush her length. You wanna be careful with your longer wigs when you're brushing them to comb them out and make them smooth because you don't wanna pull on any of the little knots that might accumulate. If you experience a knot like right there, then take your brush out and start from the bottom and come up to the knot. That way you're more likely to detangle the hair without stretching it. It's when we stretch it, um, when it's caught in those little knots, that we end up having problems with kinkiness and, and not the hair's not laying down nice and smooth. So let's look at that color. Silverstone is gorgeous. Really pretty, really pretty. And of course she comes with some bangs. Let's talk about the dimensions. The bangs are five inches. The crown is 11 inches. So we've got this crown here being 11 inches. So we get a tiny bit of layering in the back. The nape is 10 inches. So we've got quite a long, a long wig. She's five and a half ounces. So she's a little bit heavier. She comes in nine non-rooted colors, which Silverstone is not a rooted color. There's nine of them available. Everything from, from darkest browns to white and the silver grays, reds and blondes. And then there are 10 rooted colors, same thing, um, all the way from darkest browns up to uh, silver, or let's see, no, they don't have silver hair rooted yet. Um, but anyway, let's go ahead and try her on, all right? Now, what I have on today is another Godiva Secret wig. This is Tiffany in the color Mocha, Almond Roca. <laughs> Mocha. Now, Almond Roca, it's a gorgeous color. I'll do a review on her soon, okay? But let's go ahead and take her off. Okay. Well, the wig cap is um, snug. It's not, not too tight. I think I could wear her all day. But this is Taylor, and she's got in silver gray, Oh, what a pretty, pretty, pretty color. Yeah, this is gorgeous. So look at her, let's take a look. Now you may, you may need to trim your bangs depending on where you like them and how long you like them. All right, standard cap. So if you have a darker hairline, you might wanna use a white root powder to cover that up. And let's do a, let's do a spin, okay? All right, Taylor from Godiva's Secret. She feels great. 
She feels nice and secure. I could wear this. You know, typically the wig, the wig caps feel tighter than Polly Young's do on me. And, um, but that's okay. You know, my head isn't what everybody else's head is, but I could wear this. I could wear this all day. So we've got some beautiful, beautiful colors. And of course, you know, if you want to bring it up, do a half up, half down pony, you know, all those tricks. <laughs> I could just pull that up right now, secure it with just a simple clip. And how's that? And of course, these fibers feel wonderful. They feel wonderful. Now, if I could do a sweep, I would do a sweep across here. Ooh, that is a pompadour, isn't it? <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Well, we've got all kinds of things that you can do, obviously. We can take her up, take her down, part her on the side, do pigtails. But if you're wanting something kind of elegant, I mean, even in the silver tone, isn't this a beautiful color and a beautiful wig? It's really pretty. I would probably. There we go. Yep, yeah. just takes a little bit of working with to figure out what you want to do with her. Yeah, even just a little side with a clip there. Wouldn't that be kind of cute? Just get it, get it so that it doesn't hang in your face. Yeah. Do that on both sides. That's a good, that's a good look. Yeah. But what do you think about this color? This is a, this is a great color, isn't it? And I love the fact that it's darker in the nape area. Oh, you can see my brown. What? <laughs> No, you're not supposed to see that. Okay, let me let me try on the chocolate swirl. Let's take a look at her first. Just off. She is a mixture of browns, dark browns, golden browns, and she also has highlights. I don't know if you can see them that well, but highlights around the bang and right up on top, and you can see that little tiny bits of uh, highlights across here and even in the front let's see yep see you can see the highlights when you get it closer really pretty around the front and of course those highlights follow all the way down now when you hold it upside down and look at the bangs you can really see the highlights that are in the bangs so this is upside down and um looking at the colors, the blends. And so here's another blend along the temple area. I don't know if you could see that, but there's lots and lots of beautiful caramel shaded highlights throughout her. Even in the back, you can see a little small stripe and all along the other side. Okay, let's try her on. Okay. Well, isn't this beautiful? Oh my goodness. Okay. Well, here again, I would probably want to press my bangs. She's got kind of a razor cut on the bottom, doesn't she? Not, not really layered, but, you know, has that razor kind of look. She has a thin bang. So you could probably sweep her off to the side if you wanted her to sweep off to the side. You could also um, cut her to be more straight across. There we go. Look at that. Wow, she's a very pretty, pretty wig. Good length. Not too long, not too short, even almost kind of elegant. Okay, here again, I would probably take my curling hot air brush and
give me a little bit of a see-through bang here. Yeah, I need to trim those. But look at this, the highlights. They're very, very subtle, but done very nicely. Oh my goodness. Yep. Now she does have permatease. Remember, we were talking about that. And it's all the way across the top and the crown. So, but one thing that I have found is that if you don't like that much volume on top, you can use the warmth of your hand to flatten that a little bit more. And I do find that on some wigs that have a lot of permities, right here where the cap ends is usually where there's extra um, permities that I don't care for on me. And so I press it right there in that front area and it makes it look a little bit better to myself. I mean, it just looks more like me. Well, let me go ahead and do a spin on this young lady too, okay? Can you see those subtle highlights in there? She is a beautiful blend of browns with caramel highlights. Not a lot, but enough to see them and enough to give you that, that sun-kissed look. Okay, so this is Taylor by Godiva Secret Wigs. What do you think? She is a very pretty, pretty wig. And she's substantial. So remember, she's 5.5 ounces. And, um, but I think that's due to the fact that she has so many rows of curtains in there. Now, I did count on one of the other wigs that had a lot of good coverage. She had 23, 23 rows. So I don't know. Let's see how many there are on her. There are 24 wefts, rows of wefts on this young lady here. So you're going to get lots and lots of coverage on this. And that's probably why she weighs a little bit more. So count those wefts. <laughs> okay. Well, I think that's it for, for Taylor today. Well, I'm not going to sit here without a wig and say goodbye. Well, thank you so much for joining me today. This was a lot of fun comparing those two colors and another wig from Godiva Secret Wigs. We will see you next time in Coco's Hair Solutions. Bye-bye.